the most badass one man army moments in anime. Check it out. Nice. You always to become that guy who takes on a group of baddies and kicks their butts without breaking a sweat. Or other times, we just root for My the underdogs that will slime. sacrifice their life to protect those they care about with all <laughs> the odds stacked against them. I don't them. watch Gundam These are though. The moments that make us cheer gasp and more oh, the amazing animation and storytelling of our favorite anime Titan. in this video we'll be talking yeah. about the best one-man army moments in anime released from 2020 to 2023 first up we have the living meat blender vampire from our favorite Ooh. evil protagonist anime overlord, overlord. yeah overlord's badass like Shout is genocide of the Quanguas, yeah. or as I'd like to call them, the cave furries, is a one-sided <laughs> cave <laughs> furries. Thousand, with even women and children not being spared from the I mean, there is a lot of them. Valkyrie. Killing start with yeah. aura sealing off the poor Quanguas to prevent any of them from escaping. Quagua. The leader of the demi humans then witnesses the two floor guardians of Nazarik loom over them as They're they so give weak, the people an ultimatum. Keep yeah. in mind here that there are over <laughs> like, sixty thousand. She's Quaguas cutting them like a mince meat. Thousand would be spared. The leader of the furries watches in horror as ten. Tens of his soldiers die oh, from each man. of Shaltea's swings, well, being trapped in an them. unknown dimension. Yeah. Aura. He's left with no choice but she's to like comply. She's like automatic blender just in the middle. The rest. <laughs> the animation is nothing to be proud of. Just a casual Cutting madhouse through. style of using CGI in large fights. But the ragdoll of the furries caught up in Shaltea's attack kind of sells the power behind those strikes. I mean, Shaltea is really strong. Cuts them in half and everything. Jeez, that's kind yeah. Of it's insane. Castlevania. Ooh. I think it's on Netflix. Ooh, the music is so good though. Next is Street Fighting like in Day Armor. Castlevania season four has been nothing short of awesome. And whilst there's more to it than the fights and action sequences, it's moments like these that truly send it over the top. Feast your eyes mm. on this eye-popping sequence of Strigger just destroying everyone in sight. It's as brutal and violent as you'd guy, expect, you know? and I don't think maximum mm. carnage would be enough to describe watched. the destruction she released on everyone. The action's fluid. Looks the choreography is on point, and you can really feel the impact yeah. every time she swings that large sword Seems of hers. Seems like there's a lot of fighting. Moment, as one of the audience, a truly harrowing the moment enemy. though, if you imagine yourself in that scene. It looks cool though, the animation. Yeah, the it looks really clean. Yeah. I mean, the Netflix Lord has been having is good anime. If it's from video. Netflix. Nice! In the entirety of the MHA universe, I think it's fair to assume that Shigaraki's quirk, Decay, is one of the most destructive and dangerous quirks out there. This is due to what its ability to senselessly destroy decay. everything it like comes when into contact you, with, from you inanimate decay. objects oh, to biological okay, okay. life. You can't escape its advance if it's it, it like on you. On the day of his awakening, a single contact from his quirk easily turned Xless oh. into a lifeless statue, only for him to crumble away afterwards. Oh, yeah. A single activation of his quirk even managed to envelope a so huge strong. chunk of the city with his decay. Hey, rotting and crumbling Wait, so away. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe the people or the buildings. Yeah, because he got stronger now. Effects, for it only has one objective, and that's to After like got the soil. modified in the lab or something. A perfect quirk yeah. for the series' main antagonist. <laughs> Thumbs up. <laughs> we'll be <probably laughs> coming up next. We have Marky Mark from Ooh, Chainsaw. Chainsaw Man. Ooh, yeah, that was gruesome. Yeah. <laughs> That's where she killed all these like bandits. If we're talking right? about one man armies, yeah. one thing you should take into consideration is the fear and effort one displays when they're taking on multiple opponents because enemies should feel the inevitability of death and defeat. And in this scene, it's a masterclass so between yeah. those two categories. In Marky Mars what? counteroffensive she, like, against the would-be terrorist attempts them. to kidnapping Denji. Yeah, the like when you're squashing a tin can. Awesome scenes in anime. Mm. Bodies get crushed when the inevitability of death slowly they're creeps like, up on the gang members. With no one to shoot at, no one to Ew. yell at, no one to a bargain with you just wait for your turn to die it's as simple as that Marky Mark wasn't even fighting in this scene which just makes him yeah. more horrifying and effective Ooh. imagine losing your entire squad to someone clasping her hands in some temple a couple of miles away like a looming <laughs> horseman of know, death right? her presence in this show is just She's borderline just terrifying a fitting character Sad. for this list no questions asked oh hell's paradise Oh, nice. that's, where, that's literally the beginning of the season, though. Despite the show only airing recently, yeah. there's actually got a decent amount of action scenes with the main man himself in the Gabi spotlight. Maru. Of course, those yeah. scenes portrayed his ferocity and beast-like nature of fighting very well. If you literally stack bodies into a mountain when you're doing your day job, then yeah, I think that deserves a certificate of approval. The best showcase for Gabi Maru's one-man army potential <laughs> is his fight against the prisoners. Yeah. His biggest concern isn't that he'll be fighting you, but the fact that he finds I think there's a season really two. Bothersome. The maybe. sudden nature that the fight 
Sky starts with is so visceral as he rips and tears multiple targets in quick succession. He did all of that yeah, while being the way he fights kind of gruesome. Scrubs, I suppose. Bare hands. His limpo techniques. This guy is an opponent like you wish you wouldn't go up like against. Ascetic Blaze alone is enough to even take care of a dozen trained fighters. I don't even remember. I mean, he can. Even if he's capable of in the upcoming episodes. Even if his mouth, he can rip it out. Yeah, this was an epic scene. Next up, we have our favorite blob of cute. Only in this blood. case, he's really pissed off. Oh, the time I got so. Yeah! Rimuru, my favorite! Nice! Quick death! Water powers or something? Gonna... After the massive surprise attack that was carried out on Rimuru's oh, settlement, slime. he sets his eyes on revenge and attempts to achieve demonhood in an attempt to revive his light. comrades. When the comic relief know. character turns silent for a whole episode, then you surely yeah, this, this was before he became like demon lord, I think. After the massacre, of course, Rimuru responded in kind, and there just happens to be a large army parked in his backyard, ripe for the taking for his ascension. As he gracefully hovers over the enemy's army camp, he then rained death from above as he turned the entire area into a glorified game of laser tag with his ability Megiddo he quickly dispatched the entire army soldiers as he simply spectated the entire just ordeal kill them from like above that? without a single yeah. care for the lives he's taking and to if get you consider the fact that he something. made an anti-magic area earlier it just made the Jeez, slaughter more that's... hopeless nothing screams yeah. one man army more than quick. a good old fashioned solo army wipe the most terrifying thing in this whole scenario At least quick is the death, method I guess. that carried out this slaughter Megiddo isn't some flashy yeah. big explosion magic that just wipes swaths of enemies in an Clean instant death. but a precise and accurate a ray of light that's quick, sudden, oh, light, and yeah. killing you without you even noticing. Seeing as it light. can easily pierce through armor yeah. like butter, like pigs to a slaughterhouse, they didn't even see it coming. Uh oh. Yeah, this was his demon lord. Yeah. And finally, our number one pick is cool David stuff. Martinez from Cyberpunk Edge that's Runners. One. Oh, from the Cyberpunk I haven't watched Cyberpunk. Yeah. Looks cool though. Quite an unexpected hit Ooh. in 2022. The anime showed the many ups and downs in the life of our boy David. Whoa. David's ability that means to like bugging to move out. and be yeah. faster than everyone to the point that it looks He's like everything is just bandy. slowing down for him. The ability comes from military grade cyberware that also has the grim side effect of Yo. David slowly losing his mind or oh in universe God. term being like cyber psychosis. Then add a prototype of cyber skeleton to his arsenal against the looks cyborg like United it. States Army and you have the recipe for the I mean, ultimate one-man so. army moment. Equipped with anti-gravity generators, <laughs> thrusters, and arms that can control that magnetic fields, cool. David's tricked yeah. into testing out his death trap when they're ambushed and cornered by oh, military like engines, the equivalent of the US Army of 2077. Yeah. Every the enemy is kind of like a guy's dream, right? The greater the Robot. burden and higher risk for yeah. cyber psychosis. <laughs> so, as expected, the crazed and enraged David uses the hunk of metal to deliver mayhem Ooh. to the soldiers in just a matter of seconds. With the creative Damn. kills ranging from being crushed to death going by on. gravity or mm. painted with bullets from your own gun. All the soldiers ever saw on that battlefield caution, was a giant caution. blur before their heads exploded. Even armored cars and tanks are no match for this flying metal demon. David slips in and out of psychosis, treading the border of sanity Yo. and becoming a literal edge runner <laughs> at this moment. David Martinez Rosky is the his, perfect his limit. underdog that rose to the top and went out with a Ooh. bang. A legend of Night City. He, he injected himself with something. <laughs> yeah, I think he did. <laughs> like override or something. Yeah, probably. Good. And that ends this list for the top 10 one-man army.